Good evening and welcome to the channel's studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Pakistan's main opposition leader Imran Khan has greeted supporters outside his home just hours after there were violent clashes as police tried to arrest him. He addressed the crowd and took pictures with those who gathered near his compound in the city of Lahore. In one video, he could be seen wearing a gas mask. Police fired tear gas shells during clashes throughout the night. Punjab Interim Information Minister Amir Mir said the court ordered operation to detain Mr. Khan was suspended on Wednesday to allow a cricket tournament to take place nearby as the standoff was causing major traffic disruption. Ukraine's foreign minister says incidents such as the downing of a U.S. drone over the Black Sea are inevitable until Russia leaves Crimea. More difficult thing is Dmitry Kaleba said he did not expect any diplomatic escalation and described it as a routine incident. The large MQ-9 Reaper drone plunged into water on Tuesday, with the United States and Russia promoting conflicting explanations as to why. The U.S. said it brought down the damaged drone after it became unflyable when a Russian jet clipped its propeller, something the Pentagon described as reckless. And one Russian jet intercepted and hit our MQ-9 aircraft, resulting in a crash. This hazardous episode is a part of a pattern of aggressive and risky and unsafe actions by Russian pilots in international airspace. The UK Chancellor says the country will avoid a technical recession this year, despite the economy shrinking by 0.2 per cent. Jeremy Hunt said the economy is forecast to grow by 1.8 per cent in 2024 and 2.5 per cent in 2025. Inflation is also forecast to fall to 2.9 per cent by the end of this year. Fuel duty has been frozen for another year and government help with energy bills is being extended for another three months until June. Defence spending is being boosted by £11 billion over the next five years. Today, the Office for Budget Responsibility forecasts that because of changing international factors and the measures I take, the UK will not now enter a technical recession this year. At least 225 people are now known to have died after Tropical Storm Freddy swept through southern Malawi. Here, residents of Blantyres and Bayani Township, one of the area's worst hit, are trying to clear up. Some 20,000 people have also been displaced. Many of the dead were killed by mudslides in Malawi's second biggest city. The official death toll in neighbouring Mozambique stands at 20. The death toll from a ferry accident off the coast of Gabon has risen to at least 21 amid reports and allegations that the ship may have been overloaded. Air Force planes and diving teams have been conducting daily search operations. 124 passengers were reported to have been rescued. Critics accused the government of being slow to respond and downplaying the incident, but a government spokesman said they had no information or comment on the allegations. Over 400,000 customers are without power in the United States after bi-coastal storms brought rain, snow, flooding and high winds. Overflowing rivers and mudslides have rocked California, where 40 of the state's 58 counties had been under a state of emergency. Up to three feet of snow have fallen in some parts of New York, New Hampshire and Massachusetts. Here, the roof of a shopping mall in Minnesota collapsing under the weight of the white stuff. And it's been described as a record like no other. Forty-year-old David Venkel dived an incredible 50 meters into Switzerland's Lake Sills without breathing apparatus or a wetsuit. The Czech diver's record vertical plunge to 52.1 meters in a single breath follows his entry into the Guinness World Records book for swimming the length of a frozen Czech lake back in 2021. The Swiss plunge in temperatures of between 1 and 4 degrees Celsius took him 1 minute and 54 seconds in total. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.